Hey everyone, I'm Stephanie, Hey Denny Newbies, and welcome back you regular viewers. Today I've got another foundation review. So any of you regulars on my channel know how much, probably my number one favorite makeup product is the BS So foundation, skin tints, absolutely love um, something to even out skin tone. So if you wanna see my review today, I'm going to be doing a review and first impressions of the Hourglass Illusion Hyaluronic Skin Tint Broad Spectrum SPF 15. So yeah, I picked this up and I thought, why not give it a go? Love our glass. Hadn't tried this product before. So if you want to see my review, just keep on watching and do subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you like it and I'll get started. So first of all, I went for the shade Warm Ivory. There are 12 shades and this I did pick up from Space NK. It was 55 pounds. Um, the product is meant to be lightweight tinted moisturiser, hydrates and firms, moderate buildable coverage, hyaluronic complex to help plump fine lines and wrinkles, and contains SPF 15. Interestingly, it says hyaluronin rather than hyaluronic um, on the actual uh, website, but it is called hyaluronic skin tint. Um, so the ingredients... It's got uh, titanium dioxide and some other ingredients for making it the SPF um, broad spectrum. Um, how do you apply on the website? They recommend using the R glass foundation brush or fingertips. Um, so I'm gonna try half with um, my fingertips and then half with my um, beauty, spend, uh, beauty blending sponge. So I love R glass a lot and I have loved 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 the stick foundation so very excited to try this um so it's got a little um squeezy tube so it's plastic squeezy tube um rather than being like a pump or anything um so with that i think that's quite good um if you're traveling with it because it's not going to break or have a problem like that um i do normally prefer a pump personally but let's hope this shade is okay as well because i did Buy this online uh, from Space NK so I was like trying to make sure I got the right shade. When I read up reviews people said the the shade Warm Ivory that I went for is similar to an NC15 from MAC which is a the lighter MAC shade that I wear so hopefully it will be okay. So that's sort of one, it's hard with um, squeezing it out to know how much you've got but I sort of squeezed out about that much so hopefully this is similar to maybe like one pump. Um, so I'm going to take half of that to begin with and I'm gonna pop it on um, this side of my face. I haven't actually done a new primer um, or SPF because it does have, because it's a skin tint, I feel like, I don't know, I don't really feel like I need a primer when it's a skin type tint type product. Um, so I'm just blending that in. It's an quite, um, I think it's an okay color match. Um, it's not like super, super golden. It's definitely, even though it's called warm ivory, it feels kind of more like a neutral, but that's fine. So that's blending out quite nice. Um, I think I need a bit more of the product. It's quite, um, it doesn't have a bad smell or anything. It's quite thick in consistency, um, but it does blend out nice on the skin from first impressions. Whoa, yeah, that's getting some good coverage there on the forehead, um, which is good for my little freckles. So that's the side with the fingers uh, blending it out very easily blend it with the fingers that really blend it so nice and super super easy so really handy again if you're traveling don't need to bring a brush don't need to bring a sponge and it's travel friendly so i really like that um the coverage level is looking quite nice on that side and there is a lot of glow um with this um which is really nice um for that sort of plumping skin look um i'm now going to squeeze out a little bit more um, i actually didn't use that whole the whole amount I squeezed out so I'm just going to squeeze out a little bit more and then I'll use some of that. Um, so I'm going to pop it on the skin and then I'll blend it out with the beauty sponge to see how that works. So this is a new beauty sponge that I found. Um, I think it's from Eco Tools um, and yeah first time trying it. Um, it feels quite uh, nice and bouncy so I'm just going to blend it in with the sponge to see how it works. So straight, straight away, I'm seeing that the sponge definitely is reducing the coverage level and it's definitely 
not given the same coverage as the um, finger blending it out with. Okay guys, this is the side with the beauty sponge. This is the side with the fingers. Definitely gonna need to go in on this side uh, with the sponge just to go over with the fingers. Highly, highly recommend do not use a sponge. It didn't say on the website to use a sponge. It did say a brush so or fingers. So yeah, they're right, don't use a sponge. I just thought because I always like a beauty sponge that it'd be okay, but yeah, no, do not recommend it. So I'm just gonna fix it with uh, my fingers blending out so that it all matches. Okay guys, that looks so much better with just fixing that and all being blended out by um, my fingers. I have a little bit left on my hand and I wanna see, can I build up the coverage just with it, like say on my little moles or little uh, sunspots to see if you can build up the coverage a little bit more. I really like how this is looking on the skin. This little product is super lovely. Yes, it's 55 pounds, but at the moment it is looking so fresh on the skin, really nice on any wrinkles, making the skin look super, super nice and useful. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go finish the rest of my makeup, put a bit of concealer, a bit of bronzer, and then I'll come back and let you know what I think. But at this stage, it's looking really lovely. So guys, this is the skin tint with the rest of my makeup on. So a little bit of powder, concealer, bronzer, a little bit of eye and lip. Um, so what do I think of this foundation? Honestly, I love how it makes my skin look. It just looks really fresh and useful. Absolutely love it. So happy I've tried it. So what am I gonna give it? I'm gonna give it a five out of five. I think this is really, really beautiful. I think it's very, very different than the Hourglass Stick Foundation, which is very, you really build a build, very medium to full coverage. I'd say this is definitely more lightweight, everyday foundation skin tint with SPF. Um, it doesn't feel heavy, and I like that it's a skin tint and actually a very true skin tint, because sometimes skin tints are either so, so watery or they're like nearly a foundation, whereas this I feel like is a true skin tint consistency where I'm getting a nice fresh face with SPF and it feels very hydrating on the skin, which is nice. So yeah, really, really happy with this. And do let me know if you guys go and try it. Um, I suppose one of the negative is there are only 12 shades. Um, so it could be a little bit more difficult to get your actual shade, but I would say it blends out and sort of matches in with you, my skin tone quite well. This shade, like when I first got it, I thought, oh, it's quite neutral, but then it sort of blends quite nicely into the skin. So hopefully it does that for the other shades as well. Um, I do have oily combo skin. Uh, so oily T-zone, normal everywhere else, and it isn't overly oily to the point where I'm like, oh, it's gonna slip and slide all over my face. It does feel really quite suitable for a lot of skin types, which is good as well. So really, really happy and loving how it's sitting on the wrinkles. It's sitting really nice, which is probably my number one thing I now look for as I'm getting more fine lines. I wanna make sure that it's not gonna make my fine lines look worse. So really, really like how it looks on the skin. And yeah, thanks so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.